So once we have the mechanical stop set, with electronic limit set, there's other features that we could take advantage of in the actuator. We have a variable output speed. We have three different speeds available, and the open and close speeds can be set independently. We can also vary the amount of torque that we want the actuator to deliver. And most commonly, we position seat the actuator both ways. And most commonly, we use 100% torque output for both directions. However, if you have a torque seated valve, you want to delimit the torque that is available, and you simply have to manipulate these switches. We'll reset the speed here, the operating speed, so we can see how this works. Here again, we have switch four, switch six, our slide switch, switch three, and our push button, switch number five. So in program mode, we can, we can change the program. Red light comes on. If I put the unit back into run mode, we can also poll it, we can ask it, if it's set for these two particular settings here, the parameter and the variable. So if I push the, the push button down, switch number five, and the LED turns red, it confirms that we're set, in this case, for four, five, and four. And it is. If I was to move the switch, the LED does not come on when I push the button, so we're not set up for these two particular parameter and variable. If I put the unit into program, push the button down, now it's set, and it will confirm when I pull it that four and four is indeed the setting. So here I have the open speed set up for the fastest possible speed. I can change the speed of the drive sleeve by moving the switch four and six to the proper positions. So this will give us the slowest possible speed this is a stepper motor again, and it'll be much noisier here at the slowest speed than it was at the fastest speed. I can go back and pull the actuator. I can ask it what it's set to do. And it indicates that settings five and four are active. And I can change the settings And change the speed. If I place the program switch back into program, the unit will stop where it is, and I can simply make the changes that I want to change. 